In 12 on Health, residents at the Greenwich Woods Health Care Center are falling in love with a new high-tech rehab tool. 12 on Health reporter Gillian Neff has the story. If you think of robots as rigid and metal on the outside, the character you're about to meet will dispel that stereotype. Come here. He's in here. This robot is warm and fuzzy ah! and responds to the human touch. Ah! Oh. His name, Paro, which stands for personal robot. The Paro has two personal computers inside. Today, Paro's inventor, Dr. Takanori Shibata, presented him to residents at Greenwich Woods Healthcare Center and folks on the front line of patient care. And the Paro has artificial intelligence, two kind of learning functions. One is name, the other is behaviors. Dr. Shibata says he has seen Paro help Alzheimer's patients relax and find words that have been escaping them. And he says Paro does something even more basic. He makes people smile. And when this baby seal, certified by Guinness World Records as the world's most therapeutic robot, was presented to President Barack Obama, President Obama couldn't help but pet him. <gasps> His eyes are open. Look at this. Residents here say in some ways it is hard to differentiate between the robotic animal and some of the real animals here at Greenwich Woods Health Care Center. And to the scientist who invented Paro, that means mission accomplished. In Greenwich, Gillian Neff, News 12 Connecticut. <laughs> She's like a pumpkin. And you like us too, don't you, huh? Yes, you do. The sun is too, but you are so big. Hey, don't let him bite your nose off. You might like, like it, think it's nice and soft. <laughs> you could sleep, okay? You want to sleep? Oh, boy. You're a nice pet. You're going to be a good watchdog, too. So if you could just give me a little bit of information about Dorothy. You say that at times she gets agitated and baby dolls help to calm her. How did you find the interaction with Para? Uh, definitely. She actually was having a bit of a rough morning and, um, you know, being a little um, anxious and, and irritable. Um, and I think I saw a huge change when she came down and um, was just very positive and receptive. I think it was very interesting that she was able to find words to say to Paro, don't cry. As you can see, she often, she's verbal, um, but it's just jumbled speech and it's, it's nothing that's really ever too coherent a majority of the time. Um, but the fact that she did find some words um, that were appropriate in the moment to say when she heard the sound, you know, don't cry. I think that was, that's a remarkable thing. Um, but I think now, you know, something like Paro has altered her day in a positive way. So it started off as a bit of an agitated, irritable day. Um, she now left here with a very positive experience and a very smiling and in a positive mood evening. So I think that was really uh, a great thing. He's <laughs> good sister for Thank you. 